Hi, this is Adrian Scott from CoderBuddy. We're going to create a Facebook app really quickly here using CoderBuddy. If you haven't been to our blog yet, you can see the full directions, instructions that we'll be using right there in the blog. And uh, here it is. We've started off already. I've opened up this link in another tab. So we're going to create a Facebook project here on CoderBuddy. Uh, let's pop in a username. And the next thing we need to do is we need to go to developers.facebook.com slash apps. I'm already there. I've already added the app and verified my account. If you have any trouble, just start off at developers.facebook.com and get yourself set up there and then go to slash apps here. So now we will create an app on Facebook so Facebook knows we're going to talk to it. Uh, let's just call it Adrian does do do do. Um, Now the first one here is going to show up in the messages we post to Facebook, so that's really the main one to worry about. We'll click that we've agreed, we'll continue, and now we've got a little CAPTCHA security thing to do. I'll get that going. Back here on the CoderBuddy tab, we've created our project. Just uh, when we signed up, it automatically created the project for us. Here we see the third file is views.py so let's click on the number sign beside that and that'll open up in our new fancy editor. Um, if we go back to the Facebook page it has now created our app. We need to do one thing here we need to add in our website with a site URL and I'm going to start off by typing HTTP colon, colon slash slash because I always forget that here and otherwise it'll give us an error. Now this uh, is going to use our um, project name and our username. So so the URL for our testing environment is going to be username on CoderBuddy dash project name on CoderBuddy and then dot CoderBuddy.net. So let's save that. It may take a f take a few moments to update. Now let's configure the app secret and the app ID into our project. So we've already opened views.py and we can just pop that app secret right there and we'll do the same with the app ID. Now all we need to do is save this. So we can see that we made changes there. We'll just click save there. Now let's uh, click on preview and see what happens. Right now you can see it's setting up our test environment there on that URL. Oh, the URL is not owned by the application. Let's see what we did here. We may not have the URL correct. Let's see. Engine test 2222. Test project engine 222. That should work. Let's reload it again in case it's uploading. And I left out part of my username there. And now it should work. There it goes. So we can log in. We can allow the permissions. And here's our application. So this is the application we've got. What does it have here? It has a wave little form and lets us post a message to our Facebook page. So let's click on that. I'm just testing out our app here and it's been posted so let's take a look at that here I reload and ooh, take a look at that it's just posted that so that looks great 
And what else do we have going on here? We got our friends list has been pulled in from our profile using FB Graph Get Connections. We've got mm, some profile info uh, from the get object, the link to our profile. We've got the uh, photo thumbnail from our profile. And we've also got a link here to jump into more of the Facebook API documentation. We even have a little extra bit here in the default application where we can pop in little messages uh, like that. And you can see we're pulling out our name and our, our profile picture from our Facebook profile. So that all looks good. And um, there's a lot more we can do with the Coder Buddy site. We can use our new editor to open and edit additional files. If you look back at the blog post, it gives us some HTML files we can edit to change the look of this application, like this one, the uh, base.html. So I'll just save that with a control S this time. It's saved. I do a reload. And we can see it's updated there. We also have a link, you know, if um, mentioned in the blog of this views.py, which has a lot more of the code. And you can start building and editing that when you want to. You can see these calls to the FB information, get the friends list here, get the connections and so on. So uh, there's a lot there to get you going. We've abstracted out all the OAuth and the session handling for you, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, and you can just start building, learning the FB API, learning a bit more about App Engine that this is built on top of. When you're ready to jump in and publish this to a, a web hosting on the App Engine site, we've got a link there published to App Engine, to Google App Engine. And this will help you go through some steps with links that you can use uh, to to get stuff sorted out. So each time you don't know, just it'll give you a link where you can take care of something. You click yes when you got that taken care of and, and go to the next stage. And that gives you a gigabyte of free uh, hosting and storage each day. Uh, so it's, it's pretty powerful. Remember that the preview testing we're doing right now, there are actually logs that we can access for that to see what's going on. So that's helpful and for debugging as well. We have an old style editor and a, a list of the files ordered by most recently saved. If we look at a particular files, we can see the, the history of the different versions down there. We can also add uh, another user as a developer, download the project as a zip file. We have a, a personal profile page that we can update, put status updates there, change a photo, follow other users. If we go to the Coder, home, Coder Buddy homepage, we've got status updates from different users, and we can ask questions, see what people are doing there. And if you ever need help, we've got an email address there, and you can write to that, and we'll help you out. So I hope uh, this gives you a chance to, to get into Coder Buddy, create a Facebook app, and start playing from there. And by the way, if you want to create an app like we did and, and let other people play around with it and build on it, each public project can be copied into a new project. So that's a powerful little feature that you can use to help other people get into programming or learn a technology or API. And that's just uh, available to everyone because this is set as a public project there. Coder Buddy's free. It doesn't matter if you're doing a private commercial project or a public one. It's free, so enjoy, uh, jump in, and uh, we look forward to meeting you. Thank you. Bye.